Okay, so I'm going to do a painting of Bristol Harbour at dusk and um, uh, I've done a sketch on location uh, one evening, it was lovely light. Uh, I've got a photo on the screen that I'm going to use just to, um, for reference on the finer details. Uh, I've prepared a uh, clean jug of water. Uh, I've topped up all the paints on my palette that I was running low on. And the first stage is I'm just going to use a very light uh, yellow colour. So um, I like to use a mixture of Naples yellow and lemon yellow. Uh, and I'm just going to draw out the main outline of the picture. And um, unlike pencil, this will disappear as you work. So it's quite a nice way to just give yourself a guide. Uh, a guide which will then disappear later on as you start working into the painting. So, I'm just going to get started.
step two. So I've outlined where the main areas of detail are and now I'm going to go in with some colour. So I always work from light to dark. This is very important because it's very difficult if you've laid down a very dark bold colour it's very difficult to then lay a lighter colour next to it because you're going to end up with some ugly smearing. So always working from light to dark as much as possible helps to keep the colours fresh. So um, I've got my sketch and I'm going to start with uh, the lightest area in the painting which is the sky and the reflection of the sky in the water. So I'm just going to block those in, in a very light yellow colours because it's, it's dusk and you tend to get a nice yellow glow in the sky at dusk. And I'm just going to start thinking about um, the little details that are the lightest in the painting. So because it's dusk there aren't going to be any bright white objects. Uh, the lightest things are going to be in light yellow or light blue. So I'm just going to pinpoint a few of the light areas that I want to save. Uh, I don't use masking fluid. So this is my way of making a mental note of the little areas, which are going to be the lightest areas, that I want to preserve.
so I didn't have to worry too much about covering up the, the lines that I'd already done uh, because they still sort of show through a bit on this hot press paper. What I also did was I just went in with a little bit of a slightly deeper yellow uh, gold ochre just at the top of the sky and at the bottom of the picture and this just helps make the colour wash a little bit more interesting and give a little bit more liveliness in, in the top of the bottom, slightly more deep colour. So, uh, I'm going to start blocking in some of the lighter areas of colour. So, some of the lighter facades of the buildings and maybe the odd detail that I want to keep in a bright colour, like a, like a little red chimney top or um, like a, a life-saving ring. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use fairly light, fairly diluted colours at this stage. And I'm also going to try as much as possible to work with transparent colours. Now, on the Winsor & Newton tubes of paint, it will tell you whether it is a transparent colour or an opaque colour or something in between. So by working as much as possible with the transparent colours you can help to preserve the luminosity and the lightness and the whiteness of the paper coming through. So, get started. 